Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. Um, if you don't know, I am a data hoarder. For a lot of the things I do, I could just use apps and stream data from the internet, but no, I like to self-host as much as I possibly can. And one thing I noticed that I'm not self-hosting is my podcasts. I searched, hunted, and dove through all kinds of Reddit posts, Google searches, and whatnot, and this may be the best thing I have been able to find. This is the self-hosted podcast manager, downloader, archiver. My kind of goal was to find a kind of uh, LiDAR equivalent for podcasts. And this seems to be the only option. If I'm wrong and there are other options, please let me know down below. This one isn't technically out of date, but it hasn't gotten an update since about last year sometime. Ultimately, this application is called PodGrab, and it is available with a Docker container. If I scroll down here, we could see some of the features about the project, what it's going to kind of look like when we're actually able to dive into it. It's written in Go, and we could see some of the features. Download, archive, complete podcasts, auto-download new episodes, which is what I want. Tag label, download on demand, podcast discovery. has a podcast player built into it, which is all super cool. And of course, we can install it using Docker. Now there's a simple Docker run command. Here is with volumes. And if you're using Protainer, you could just go ahead and plug this in right here, pointing, of course, to the proper path that you want your config to be in and your proper path for your data assets. And it does look like the default port is 8080, which is used by quite a few different Docker containers, so you might end up needing to change that. And of course, if you want to, you could build it from source. Here's their roadmap. The developer hasn't posted in some time, so I'm not sure if they're gonna hit these last few things. But everything else above here that they do have checked off is some uh, critical uh, components, for sure. Now, before we actually get this set up, I do need to thank the sponsor of this video, Linode. You technically, if you don't have the home hardware infrastructure, you could go ahead and set it up over there. All you'd want to do is go and create a new Linode, select the Docker image from the marketplace, and then that kind of gives you everything you need to get going. You can paste in the command and be launched up with ease, of course, changing those uh, volumes to the proper locations. In addition, they have a whole bunch of other marketplace applications to get a variety of service spun up with ease, or you could select just a basic Linux distro bunch to choose from and go ahead and play around with it. If you use the link down below, you could get a $100 60 day credit. But what I am going to be doing is installing it with Unraid. We can see PodGrab right here. If we go ahead and click on it, we can see it's kind of on a downward trend because it hasn't been updated in a while, so there hasn't been a need to uh, download it. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and click on install. PodGrab looks good. Bridge, shell. It doesn't look like I have anything else on the port 8080 at the moment. And of course, if I click this, you can see all of the various Docker kind of associations with the ports, which is a really nice feature. We're going to set a quick password. There we go. App data can be right there. App data, pod grab, good. Assets, click on here. We're gonna go into data. Now here we don't have a separate folder for podcasts, so we're gonna go ahead and create that. Just podcasts, like that. Boom, and then we can see some more settings if we would like to. It doesn't look like there are any more settings. Uh, so let's apply that. It's basically just setting up Docker Compose in their own little GUI. And here's the docker run command if you're interested. I just need to remember to uh, block out my password. Simple as that. Let's go ahead and continue. And now under apps. I'm kind of weird. Hopefully it does actually pull an image to put in there. Docker. Ah, oh, no, it's a question mark. Sad day. Okay, but if we go ahead and click on this, go to the web UI. Okay. I think this is pod grab and then that password. Here it is. Looks like a really uh, simple like WordPress website in a kind of a way. Before you start adding downloading podcasts, I recommend you go to the settings here. You can customize downloading behavior and software as you need. So click here to start adding new podcasts. Go to the GitHub here. So let's go to settings. How many episodes will be downloaded when I add new podcast? Five, that seems good. Oh yeah, let's use dark mode. And they do have some good options. We have the base URL, limit number of podcasts. We have some usage statistics here. So let's go ahead and just save this. That looks a little bit better. Okay, let's add a podcast. And let's search for a podcast. Let's search for just Linux and see what comes up. We have two options, iTunes and Podcast Index. Let's hit search. Now I will note downloading podcasts depends on the kind of policy 
of the files that you're downloading. So before you download, do check that because some podcasts might be covered under copyright. Some might be under the GNU license and you're able to do whatever you want with. It all just depends. A lot of these Linux podcasts I know aren't going to be any issue because they all kind of follow the uh, free and open source kind of principles. One I know is probably going to be no issue is Jupiter Broadcasting here. Let's go Linux Unplugged. Let's add this as our example. Great podcast. I do highly recommend it. And we can see the podcast was added successfully. So if we go over to episodes, we can see that it is pulling. And I'm not sure if it just hasn't pulled the images yet. But if I go home here, we can see Linux Unplugged. Click on this. And we have all our episodes. And we have some settings here. So I can mark as listened bookmark it, download it, uh, delete the podcast and play it. So if I click on play, there we go. Super sweet. So now we have that in there. I can listen to it. I wonder if it saves my place. So 23 minutes. Let's go back to episodes. Let's go back to this one. Ah, oh, it doesn't. That would be cool. But I'm probably not going to use this as the podcast player. This is going to just be more of a collection tool is how I'm assuming I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure out a better way to play these. Whether if I use like Plex or Audio Bookshelf, I'm not sure what application has the best kind of features for listening to podcasts that's self-hosted. If you know, do post it down below. Now, before we end here, I'm kind of curious on how that looks on the file system. So let's go to our data folder here. Go to podcasts. Okay, so it just has the name of the actual podcast in that podcasts folder. Linux Unplugged, and here are the episodes with the number. The folder picture all that looking beautiful so yeah that was a nice little podcast aggregation tool if you do enjoy this video make sure you subscribe ring that bell leave a comment down below if you have any other suggestions or home lab type media applications you think i should go ahead and check out and with all that i do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and good bye